to another video by me, That's Aussie. Today we will be starting a new career playing the video game War on the Sea using the Pacific War mod. Uh, just before we get into this, into this, I want to apologise for not uploading like I said I would. I had to deal with some technical difficulties as I right now you should you guys should have already got the second episode of my rise of flight career but as i was recording it when it finished it, it came up and said no careers could be found so technically it deleted my careers i don't know how and i'm still looking into it so i'm gonna have to restart that i'm really sorry but i i've i have I've just done the loop from this game and I'm going to continue it. I played it a very long time ago, but recently a lot of things have happened. I've been talking to a developer for a mod that will be making its second return soon. Um, and that will be in another video where I'll talk more about that mod because I can assure you guys you will want to get this game and you will want to play that mod after you hear it and, well, you see this me play. And Yes. But before we get into it, also another thing is that you guys should know I have a enabled a specific function in one of the mods that I've used, which I will link all the mods I use in the link description down below. But anyway, one of the mods I have used enables ships from 1944-1945 uh, to be in the Guadalcanal campaign, which I believe took place in 1942. So that should be something. I know it, historical inaccuracy might not be some people's favourites, but to me, I see it as a bit of a challenge because you're starting off with not much, and the enemy's got a not only a huge head start in resources and ships, they've also got a head start in what type of ships. So it makes to me it makes it really challenging, and I would say really fun. So, with all that said, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, here we are with the, um, I'll be playing as the Americans, just a quick little heads up. So here we are, the attack on Pearl Harbor, Battle of the Coral Sea, Battle of Midway. Okay, yeah, I was right, 1942, Operation Watchtower. Okay, so I must take control of Guadalcanal, Florida Arms, and Malaysia, while maintaining control of Fort Moresby and Mill Bay. Okay. So if we look at the rules, per week I'll be getting 20 command points just normally, per friendly location 12, per, raw, per port rank 13, per airfield rank 14. So I'll be getting a total of 59 command points per week and with people that already have the game and know how to play, command points pretty much enable you to buy ships and all, and all that. But yeah, I think, um, I, I don't understand what this means, but Okay, okay, so my game plan is with what it just said, the first things that I would do is capture Rennell Island as a forward base to get near Guadalcanal, and over the course of the time, I guess, bomb, attack these airfields and knock them down so there'll be no airfields so I can safely enter without there being an airfield to worry about to attack my transports when in the future I do land. But I believe for now, my biggest my biggest priority is to protect Fort Moresby and Milne Bay from any attackers, aka Japanese, up at Rabaul. That will be their home base. I have a home base right here in Cairns and on the New Hebrides. Okay, so my my first step, of course, is to defend Fort Moresby and Milne Bay because from past experience, I know the enemy likes sending strikes up here. And I have 200 command points to my name, so that's not a lot, so I'm going to have to make do with, I guess, my idea is build up a submarine fleet, because they'll be able to protect and stay hidden. Have my my standard um, sea fleet, I guess, battle group, I like to call it. Um, maybe a heavy cruiser, two heavy cruisers, three destroyers, and that might be all. And then have my transport fleet to attack Rennell Island. And if you guys didn't know what I was saying when I said all ships can be unlocked no matter what date, I can say that the Iowa class, really, you can see this, Illinois, I don't even think has a ship, Montana, 
firearm that I think that's meant to come out in 1943 but yes it is available right now so that's what I mean the enemy will have ships that are meant to come out at a later date be out now so it makes it more of a challenge but yet I have a lot of ships the enemy of course has the famous Yamato which is extremely scary um yeah with that said I'll make my fleet and I'll get back to you guys and show you what I've got okay guys I'm back and I have finished the or buying fleet of course I now have zero command points um so I might as well introduce you to the fleet uh, first we have the merchant task force a1 with uh, an escort carrier Gambia Bay with my troop ships and my cargo ships and two destroyer escorts with two destroyers then I have my standard I guess battle group A1 with four destroyers and two heavy cruisers and then over here I have the Gato and the Tambor as my submarines so that will be our starting fleet for the Pacific Theatre in the Guadagana Guadag oh no, I completely forgot to send them to their areas and load them up with supplies wow silly me okay so we will you can't carry anything so I'll be taking troops particularly on the Macaulay that way she can be seen in the heart of the fleet because she will have the troops along with that 900 I'll be taking a lot of supplies because from what I've noticed they burn through supplies at a very fast rate in the game the troops can burn through rate very fast I mean supplies of course so I'll be taking a lot of supplies and um, battle group A1 will be I guess patrolling around here just making sure it's all safe against making sure the Santa Cruz Islands are all good so we're off and we've just begun um, I guess up until then it, it can be quite boring so I will skip ahead until something interesting happens and I'll get back to you guys then okay guys I'm back with an interesting with my first I, I could say battle um, at 1:57 a.m. on the 7th of August 1942 our merchant task force has been intercepted or has intercepted something which isn't exactly good because they're consisted of merchants let's just see what it is we're gonna immediately turn on the sonar Okay, enemy submarine has been detected. I assume they're going after the so it's increased speed. Nib black. I know it's a submarine straight off the bat, so we're gonna deploy two of our two of our destroyers out to go get her. We obviously have a good sight on her scary how close she got let's try and see if we can sink her yep I know exactly where she is though going to go back down to a speed of maybe 12 knots there's the torpedoes running in we're going to get Gambia Bay and we're going to turn her hard Long game, be a bay. 
can you slide in between the torpedoes? speed oh no they're all oh no oh I don't have time to worry about it ah uh. uh. okay we're all good okay now focusing on the Now focusing on the front at hand, we have a Type B submarine. I'm gonna try and there she is. Got it good on her. We'll two. Actually, no. We'll keep it five seconds. We want to destroy this thing on the first run. Okay, coming in. Do you know what? Why not go for free? First submarine will sink. Hopefully, all the torpedoes have passed. So that should be a. Oh, she is turning. Decrease speed to 13 knots. We'll just depth charge her now. Absolutely litter. Absolutely litter them around it. Absolutely dump them. Haven't taken any damage. I'm surprised she's still up and running. You thought we would have hit her. The tough cookie she is. Let's see, 42 depth charges. You know what? Yeah, we'll stay at free. She might actually outturn us here. Just launch. Absolutely launch him. I just want to sink her right now. Come on. Impressive. Seriously impressive. Send one in front of her. Send, yeah, we'll send that. Let's just see. Oh, that's a good one. That's solid. Bang. That's gonna go boom, boom. Oh, that, that must not be good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we've hit her. Damn right. Negative 76. Yeah, she's sinking. Good job. I I feel like she's gonna um, what do you call it? Gonna surface so we'll get it. We'll turn around and clear the area because I know she'll surface. They will do. Oh no! No, 
you just saw. Huh. Well, I'll call that successful for that. They didn't even get a torpedo hit on us, I don't think. Yeah. We certainly waste. Okay, yeah, we definitely wasted our depth charges. But that's good. I'm, I'm so happy that they didn't hit the hit the carrier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sunk. 3,650 tons. I don't know what submarine it was. Let's go check out what submarine it was. Not a Type A. Better a Type B. Yep. I-17. Wow. Well, sub. That's our first ever Japanese encounter. An encounter, I'd say, and it's successful. And we just that got. Well, I have a very good play. 18 F6F Hellcats. Yep. Merchant Task Force. We'll see what they throw at us. Got AA turned on. I really like the, um, this, the destroyer escorts. Really good looking. What are they? Ooh. That isn't fun. We'll see. Oh my god. Oh my god. They, they didn't even stand a chance at that. Wow, that's actually... Wow. So, so much for them. Oh, there was six planes. Wow. Huh. Well, okay, they're just going to throw everything at us. I assume they're going to throw every plane they have on the island at us today. Today will be not a fun day. There they are. Come on, get into action. I really like this setup of um, Livermore because if they come in from the front, try and strike up through the front like that, they'll immediately get annihilated, even on the side. So Livermore actually protects them, protects it, the fleet quite well. Oh, we lost the plane. Oh my god. Wow, that looks insane. They're turning in, guys. Need to do something about it. Oh god. They're actually gonna get in. Come on. Do something. Wow, we lose another one. Come on. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. That was so, that was so close for comfort. Too close for comfort, I should say. Wow, and we lost two Hellcats just in that. Wow. Wow, 8, I think we have not a lot, I'd say. Yeah, only 16, wow. Um, anyway, getting back into it. I assume they're gonna throw, yep, they're definitely gonna throw fighters at us now. Fun. Nah, uh, this stage is full of contacts. Sink a submarine and this is what you get for it. Repaid an aircraft, wow. These Hellcats are about to give these zeros hell. <laughs> I've got the incredible range on. Incredible range. I think last time when I played this without all the mods, the, the range for the AA to open up was incredibly like, they had to be close, like, the main guns wouldn't open up till the secondaries, I think, at some stage. I can't remember. It was... But yeah, the AA opens up a lot, a lot further away now. I like the tactic. I like his tactic, honestly. Just spray bullets everywhere. That it works, it works, I'll be honest. The tactic of just going in circles shooting actually does work. 
Yeah, these, unfortunately these air battles do get... Oh wow. Very good. Um, well, unfortunately these air battles do get boring quite quickly. Because, yeah, they're just eventually planes going in circles. Sometimes they can be cool, but most of the time not. It's where one of this game lacks um, the air combat. Which is real. I believe is really hard for games to nail to get the AI to fly in in games like this to perform real well. At the start, it'd just be planes going around in circles, but now they've done it. Planes go up, down while going in circles, which is good. Yeah, we downed all of them. Successful, but the loss of a plane. God, by the end of this, we won't have any more Hellcats. Come on. Encounter with Port Moresby. Oh, it's just a merchant. I was about to say. Oh my god. I'll, I'll launch something at it. Two torpedoes, both. Oh, I could launch. Yeah, I will. We'll just see. Boom. Both fighters are there. Just as these guys are about to get to Rental Island. Wow. Yeah, so I'll, I'll sink this merchant. It's one less merchant they'll get. There she is. We'll decrease to 150 meters. Try and get beside her and see. Ooh, you must have something valuable on you. I think they're stockpiling a layer. I'm not sure. But maybe when I get enough um, command points again, I'll purchase the submarine. Because I noticed when I've played this before, like trying to learn the all the controls again. Um, I realised like they like to stockpile at lay, so uh, like you see merchants regularly come into lay and out lay. So I assume they're stockpiling there. So I I am gonna that that will be something I'll add to the list. I'll purchase a, a maybe a few more submarines to protect Port Moresby, um, Milne Bay, and then I'll. Purchase one to, I don't know, block layoff from any merchants. That'll be a plan. Well, I like the bow fighters. They look really good. Oh, he has no idea what... Oh, he has AA. I know what you are. You're like... This, uh, this ship's like the base merchant of the game without the mods. Not sure, let's... Yeah, you're like, this is like base. No shit, we'll go back to all. Yeah, they've definitely got AA, which is scary. Which is a, I think she's capable of fighting. Like, she's a capable of fighting. Yeah, I'll take control of a bow fighter. Wow, why are we dropping so far away? Incredible. Actually, know what I'll do? I'll just pull out, wait for the torpedoes, see if they hit, and then I'll come back around. That'll be this guy's job. See if they hit. Because if they don't hit, I'll have to go back in and we'll use guns. I don't think they'll hit. We'll see. I think we um dropped them too early. Honestly. Unless no, actually no, yeah, we just missed completely. One, three and four. We'll go into this guy will just be waiting for them. Oh, my comrades right there. Yeah, we'll conduct a strafing run on her. That'll be the best idea. Powerful. Absolutely. Absolutely devastating what the guns can do. Then I'll come in. Come on. 
one, don't get shot down by a merchant. And I got shot down by a merchant, but the torpedo hit me. That's good. Okay, so we lost a... That's embarrassing. <laughs> I don't think... I always viewed it as, like, probably happened a lot in real life, but to be shot down by a merchant, especially for it to be a merchant ship, merchant ship. But yeah, so we'll, we'll come back around for one more strike, because that somehow proved to be a very devastating attack. I mean, the guns on the bow fight are absolutely insane. I think it's eight guns, heap 303 guns. Yeah. Wow. Magazine. Magazine or cargo explosion. Yeah, she's done for now, I think. Yeah, I think she'll just be done for. Okay, yep, sinking. We'll go for the. I don't know why I keep pressing the escape button. Habit. One sunk ship, 6,000 tons sent to the bottom. It's good. And of course they'll call like they can catch me though. Yeah, can't even catch me. Should get Gado, Gado, I don't know how to pronounce it. Someone probably knows how to pronounce it properly. I don't know. Gado, Gado. Merchant Task Force. Unload all cargo. All cargo rental. Okay, that's out in our favour by a lot. I think we'll take it by the end of today. We'll just leave, I guess. Before any planes or any more submarines come. Oh wow, that was extremely quick. That was extremely quick. Oh, I think this is like the ratio of who, who owns the island. Oh. Is that is that the case? Is it like 2.0? I don't know, I think it is. Then for rental, it's two. I'm not sure actually. Yeah, you can see like 2,000, 3,000 troops, 2,000 supplies. Incredible. Oh, there's the zero. Nothing. You won't find anything. Did we already encounter with Port Moresby? Oh, just some, just the same aircraft. Okay, well, let's move. I guess travel over to Rennell, maybe guard it for the Wow, he stopped just before we've come. Wow, that's actually impressive. Wow, they're stopping Dang. Yeah, if we check I think enemy losses. Two ships sunk to Nine aircraft, we've lost four and no ships. That's pretty good. Say for day two, sink one ship each day. Japanese will be out of business in no time. Of course, I'm joking. The Japanese have an insane amount of ships. Like, absolutely insane. Like, nine ships just did this. What did I say? 20. 20 ships we have to sink. Wow. So, I don't want to have to do that. Okay, so second part of Operation Destroy Them, Aussie Destroys. I uh, will go bombard Guadalcanal and Florida Islands, try and destroy as much as under the cover of Dark Force. Try and do it when they won't see us. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Should have seen that coming from a mile away. Well, we've got some of the best AA defense. The good part is, which I always forget to do, is put a destroyer at the back in case they come from the back. Oh my god. Okay, now I'm starting to think there's a carrier nearby. There's that many zeros, there must be a carrier, and they're definitely carrying bombs. Great. One of these guys, nothing scary. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send a 
I'm going to send mail out to go underneath them and over them. Breaker. We can go next to them like that. I think they're going to target Paul Fletcher. No. Yeah, I think Paul Fletcher is going to get it all Pensacola. Whatever it is, we'll engage defensive maneuvers. The AA coming to life. I always like the sound of that. Taka taka taka. No, no, that's for planes. Oh, they're not even coming down. Cowards. They're not even coming down, they're just gonna. Yeah, I don't think they'll hit us. Especially because we're doing these insane circles. Oh no, they hit us. Okay. Well, I spoke too soon. Now I have a. Yes, we destroyed one. Destroyed two. Oh. That wasn't fun. Mayo doing her best. Come on, boys, we can destroy a lone aircraft, surely. They won't even come down here. They're cowards. Not severe damage. I don't think Pensacola took anything. Oh, no, she did. Completely missed. Come on, we can destroy her. Come on. I guess our gunners aren't in for it, I guess. They aren't. They don't want to put in the effort today. Well, interesting. And before I stop a collision between two ships. Which there most likely will be. Come on. Okay, we'll be uh, we'll be safe, I think. Wow, Alaska can travel at incredible speeds. Okay, set them all at zero. That way we can, I guess, be able to just. Okay, one lone zero coming in for a strike. And then one lone bomber. What are you dropping your bombs at? Oh, of course, Benson. Ow. That hurts. And that just caused permanent damage. Great. Over there, it seems to be all good. Well, certainly took a bit of damage there. I think nothing severe enough that we have to s send our guys back home, but... And the mission we are I've assigned them to do is quite important. Stop aerial bombardments in the future. That will occur when we try and travel to Rental Island. Because I believe, now that we've captured Rental Island, They'll try and take it back, and if they can't do that, and they see fleets in the area often, through submarines, I believe they'll keep sending planes over there, which I, and I believe it's import really important that we, we just destroy it now, so that means I'll have to use supplies to fix it in the future. But yes, we downed a plane, and that bomb's going to hurt when it drops. If it even drops. Oh. 
to drop the bomb? I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, go ahead and treat. Damage not that significant. Well, here goes nothing. And we just got intercepted again. Great. And that looks like torpedo bombers. You know what? I think we should just call it off until the night. And I'm not a huge fan, so I'm going to use the ultimate play, which looks like cheating, and it 100% is. Because something in the game is obviously broken or through a mod, but oh my god. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to escape this. Um. Yeah, it's just a matter of hitting this. I'm sorry if it's cheating, but I'm not going to lose Alaska straight away. I love her. And I assume this will continue, so until something interesting actually occurs when, or when we're about to bombard Guadalcanal, I'll, I'll just leave it from here and I'll see you guys when something interesting happens or when we're about to bomb Guadalcanal. Okay guys, I am back. It is... I'm not gonna bother. I think 8.48 I believe. No, 7.48 maybe. 8th of August 1942 and Battle Group A1 is just about to hit Guadalcanal and Florida Island. And yes, they did attack me and yes, it was brutal and yes, I skipped it because I knew eventually Alaska and my whole fleet would be wiped out with the sheer amount of planes they had and it, the game almost crashed because of it. So yeah, it was real fun with how many planes they brought into it. Um, yeah, so we're about to hit Guadalcanal entering. I hope there's no ships here. Encounter with Rental Island. Oh, ouch. There's still planes up at this hour. Okay, so we're creeping in. Encounter with Rental Island again. Wow. And, oh, they're stuck there. Interesting. Yeah, so we're going to go and bombard Guadalcanal and the Florida Islands just because you know what we can that's done and then then we go up here bombard okay and we're out of ammo so the Florida Island still has a airfield but we destroyed Guadalcanal so again you know what they don't have as much air coverage as they used to and they lost an airfield and a few planes so that's still pretty good in my book mm. with that said with that objective of mine completed I, I believe that brings us an end to the first episode of my US Navy campaign in the War on the Sea Pacific War mod I want to say thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe Hit the notification bell so you get more of these epic videos. And again, I'm incredibly sorry about the rise of flight issue. I'm working on it, trying to figure it out. And also, sorry, sorry in the future if this get if this is laggy. The quality isn't good. I'm still learning a lot. Um, how to make videos. I'm currently learning how to make thumbnails. Um, so yeah, that's fun, like proper thumbnails. Um, yeah. Anyway. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.